Town Council meets tonight, a rundown of what to expect on this episode of Barnstable Today. It's Thursday, May 15th, 2014. I'm Sarah Colvin. Town Council is expected to complete work on the capital budget for fiscal 15 tonight. All that remains is requests from the airport. Town Council President Jessica Rappersetti has details. Um, everything for, from uh, uh, improving their runways and taxiways to um, a few um, new items, a uh, new dump truck they're looking for, appropriation for that, and um, um, the reconstruction of some of their taxiways and ramps and a uh, new front end loader and they uh, also are uh, looking for um, some funding for the uh, design and construction of the airport access road. Council will also weigh in on new FEMA flood maps. Well, we have um, um, referring to the public hearing on the 22nd, which is our uh, meeting next week. We're going to have an extra meeting in May because of all the items, um, the uh, flood area provisions. Uh, there's an amendment to that uh, provision, the flood maps, and, and that's uh, got to be done um, in, because they will be in place by July of this year, and if we don't uh, act on that on the 22nd, um, then people applying for building permits and whatnot in flood zones would uh, not qualify if Barnstable doesn't uh, adopt those, uh, that, that new um, provision. Also, I think an important one, um, Councillor Hebert is is in support of, uh, is the um, uh, support the legislation pending to uh, expand the the housing court to include Barnstable, and and actually uh, uh, the county uh, is uh, the county of Barnstable, Dukes, and Nantucket are not covered by a uh, housing court, so this would take some relief off of the. Uh, district courts, um, which are jammed with uh, cases, and uh, this would allow um, uh, both landlords and tenants um, and municipalities uh, a, a quicker uh, way for uh, resolutions for disputes and whatnot with regards to Dr. Setti says council will discuss an item requesting Governor Deval Patrick to release Chapter 90 transportation funds. That uh, the Roads Committee has been meeting uh, to, uh, and they were charged to uh, expand the current potential sources for revenue for maintenance and repair of town of Barnstable roads. And there is such a backlog of uh, needed road repairs. And as you know, a lot of those repairs are going on right now, now that this, uh, the spring weather is, is upon us. And uh, um, the uh, uh, the state uh, approved an, uh, a $300 million Funding level, however, um, not um, not all of those funds were released. Uh, 100 million was held back, and so what we're looking for is for the governor to release uh, the uh, the um, remaining 100 million, which would uh, realize the town of Barnstable could realize as much as 100 million dollars from those. Several funds. capital improvement requests will be ready. Um, these are refers to a public hearing. There's uh, appropriation for money for restoration of the Highness horse watering trough, which, uh, as you, I don't know if you recall, but uh, old photographs of the east end of Hyannis, um showed a, a, a horse watering trough that um, has seen better days, and it needs uh, needs some uh, restoration. Um, another item is. Uh, um, some money for the Centerville Historical Society Museum is looking for some community preservation funds for their HVAC system. And uh, the Burgess Barn is uh, um, asked for community preservation funds for restoration of the, of the, the barn, not the house, but the barn. And uh, um, uh, the U.S. Custom House on Route 6A in Barnstable um, is in need of some uh, restoration, preservation to its brick and trim, and in the basement, that's uh, quite quite an historic 
a historic property in the town of Barnstable dating back from the um, 1850s. Um, another one from community preservation is uh, the um, uh, looking for an uh, easement uh, for shared passive recreation uh, and bicycle easement on the Hyannis Pond One area. CPC request is for the purchase of property in Barnstable. Um, there is an acquisition of a property which um, uh, is in uh, also in Barnstable and this is uh, behind the uh, jail and it uh, would connect a property that's uh, um, in conservation already. Um, it's been in, in conservation since 1980s and uh, this will link the, the 28 acres uh, known as the Old Salt Estates uh, and that's a, a link from the, um, the Barnstable Village to the Cape Cod Pass. Wildfire mitigation plans are also on the table. One that's uh, close in my neighborhood, this is an acceptance of a $3,500 Cape Cod Cooperative Extension Wildfire Assessment and Preparedness Program Land Management and Wildfire Grant for the Crocker Neck Conservation Area. Um, I was out there recently um, and uh, um, in 2012 um, the uh, that area was uh, designated as an extreme wildfire risk area. I, and, um, and the Crocker Neck area is uh, close to 100 acres of land on the very western, southwestern edge of the town of Barnstable. And it is um, um, surrounded by Phragmites, which d will not be part of the burn. Those have to be controlled um, with herbicides. But um, uh, the upland area... Uh, uh, skirting the marsh there has got a lot of dead trees and a lot of lot of brush that needs to be um, burned out so they're planning a a fall burn uh, they stop burning at, at June right so um, to get permits in place and all that they'll um, they'll be looking to uh, schedule that burn in the fall um, and one last item for first read is a uh, granting a utility easement to NSTAR um, there's in the Mary Dunn Road vicinity across the Barnstable Airport. Um, there currently is an easement, but they want to re relocate it because after investigating, they, they sh um, it shows that the electrical line is so close to the water department lines, which it's hard to believe that they, that, that um, uh, condition exists, but um, this um, new installation would resolve that hazard and um, increase the uh, reliability of service in the Hyannis area, especially with, uh, for the Cape Cod Hospital area, and um, because of such of the growth in the area, too, they need a, a bigger line. So that that's a first read this week, um, and then uh, would go to, to vote at our next Town meeting. Council meets at 7 o'clock tonight in the Town Hall hearing room. The agenda is available online at town.barnstable.ma.us. The meeting will air live right here on Channel 18. Now, Channel 18's Brenda McCubrey has a look at sports. Good evening, everyone. I'm Brenda McCubrey here to bring you the latest on New England and Red Raiders sports. The Boston Bruins lost to the Montreal Canadiens last night 3-1 in Game 7 of the Stanley Cup playoffs. The Bees have the summer to break down what went wrong in the postseason and regroup for next year. The Habs advance to the Eastern Conference Finals Saturday against the New York Rangers. The Boston Red Sox beat the Minnesota Twins last night 9-4. The two teams played again this afternoon, and the Sox will face the Detroit Tigers tomorrow in Fenway Park at 7:10. In Barnstable High School sports tomorrow, boys tennis is on the road to Dennis Yarmouth for a 3:30 match. Girls JV and varsity softball are also away, taking the ferry over Nantucket. JV and varsity will both start at 3:45. At four, girls varsity tennis will host Dennis Yarmouth, and boys JV volleyball will be home in the gym to take on New Bedford. Boys freshman lacrosse will host Tabor on the BHS turf at 4.30, and boys varsity volleyball will take on New Bedford at 5. That's all for New England and Red Raiders sports. Here on Barnesville Today, I'm Brenna McCubrey. Again, Town Council meets tonight at 7 o'clock at Town Hall. With Barnstable Today, I'm Sarah Colvin.